Hi Pisces, welcome to your February 2019 reading. This is Lori Ann, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium here to give you all the messages I receive for the month. We are looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Pisces. We're gonna take a look at general. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not everything is gonna to apply to you. So only pull from the reading what is actually applicable for your life. Also, check out your sun, uh, check out your moon and rising sign as well, because they could actually resonate a little bit better for you. I like to look at all three and I pull from it what, what is applicable for me in my life, okay? And at the end of the reading, we're gonna take a look at the Romance Angel cards and pull a career finance card for you also. So let's go ahead and finish pulling your cards. Okay, so. Okay, now. I just did Aquarius, so we do have a couple cards. So if you have a Pisces, um, if your sun, moon, rising sign is Aquarius and Pisces, take a look because we have the four of pentacles holding back, not being open to give and receive fully is the major, um, what they're telling me with this card is some of you are trying to push something and it's like push, 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 and then hold back. So I don't know if this has to do with love and romance, we are definitely gonna look, but for some of you, this is all about your soulmate, okay? This beautiful connection between your soulmate and yourself. They could be the one that has been holding back and you're waiting and now they're coming forward, okay? You have an opportunity. They were holding back, but through some type of uh, the hangman taking a step back and looking at this situation from a different angle. When we recognize that a person isn't willing to open up, that doesn't mean they're never gonna open up, it means they're not ready yet. So take a step back and analyze this situation. Is it the right one for you, okay? Now we also have the higher font card. So this is about socialized belief systems all about a relationship, about commitment, on a spiritual level, on a, relation, uh, a religious level as well. So what they're telling me is some of you have been in a situation, again, much dealing with a soulmate, individual, or person that you believe is the right one for you. And there's been no communication back and forth is what I'm hearing. And you may be looking at this whole thing from a very different level. Let's take a look at what happened in the past and then I'll pull detail as to what is coming also. For some of you, this is all about a job, most definitely about a love relationship, okay? We have the Ace of Cups. So when we're looking at this partnership, you believe that this is the person for you and i'm hearing they also believe it but there's some fear when somebody's holding back they aren't ready to open up so just hang tight and we'll see the rest of the messages and how it coincides with this but this is about a great love offering between the two of you about emotional cleansing within you and recognizing i want the right person for me the right person Maybe not them and vice versa, okay? But something's gonna happen. Take a look at the situation from a different angle. Now, for those of you where this has to do with a partnership, I'm seeing a group of you where you have an opportunity to create a partnership with somebody. And I'm talking on a business level where you may be needed to invest into this partnership and it may be, and not just emotionally, because obviously we have the Ace of Cups, so it is about emotions, but it's also about finances. So you may be a little bit apprehensive to create this partnership and let's see why. Maybe you've been waiting for the communication. This is communication coming through. Eight of Wands 
can be, definitely they're finally going to contact you. You may have been waiting, holding on, waiting for this phone call, waiting for this communication, for this opportunity to come back around and sitting back and holding tight. It is going to come in the month of February. So that's really lovely energy. And when we're talking about partnership, this is about communication. This is a lot of distance between the two of you to two, two hours, 2,000 miles. That's what I'm seeing. So there is a lot of distance between the two of you. I know two hours isn't a ton, to, but it is still distance between the two of you. And you've been waiting. This communication is coming. This is actually lovely. Look at this. You've been waiting in the past. You want this relationship. You want this partnership on any level. And this is saying, yes, the commitment is coming. It is coming. So hang tight because through the month of, of February, you're going to receive this information that is going to clarify some things that you may have been needing in order to open up, in order to commit, okay? Because it is about a commitment. Now let me see where this is going. Okay. Yeah, I let the cards fly out. Okay, whatever they want to, the angels, they pull the cards for me. Whatever they want me to see, that's what comes out. Yeah, so you may be in a place where you're feeling really good about you. You're feeling very grounded and centered in your own world. You've been working on you, building the life that you love, creating the life you want. For some of you, this is all about love. But most of you, this is about you coming to a place within yourself. You're organized. You're efficient. You've gone through. You have removed everything from your life. And the universe is working right now to eclipse out anything that you have not. Or maybe you've had some fear about removing. This is you feeling that you're ready to move forward in your life. You're happy, you're in a really good place. So when this communication comes in, it may take you a little bit off guard. You're not expecting it, hoping possibly, but not expecting and boom, here it comes. You see, the second we let go of waiting for this opportunity, whether it be in love or career, when we just move forward, bam, that's when it always seems to come around, right? Now we have the magician. This is all about you being able to create the life you want. And that's exactly what you're doing. This has a lot to do with love, you guys. I'm not going to kid you. There's a lot to do with love. So let me pull another... Oop, wrong deck. For some of you, you have a brand new life partner coming in. And again, if you have a moon or rising sign with Aquarius, it most definitely is coming into place. You just got the Ace of Cups again. So there is a lot of deep emotional healing and cleansing. You've got this twice in your spread. And this is all about you. This represents you 110%. But this is about the cleansing within you. You're in a really good place now. You're feeling good. You know, you may even be feeling a little bit springy in your step. And I'm saying that because I'm seeing springtime and it's not springtime. But you may be feeling happy and energetic, ready to move forward because you feel this lift in you. And it's about you taking action in your life. Now, for some of you, you may be getting ready to go to school. I'm seeing school, education. You might be wanting to learn how to teach, become a teacher. And for another group of you, this is about you rising up and being a teacher, a leader in the spiritual world, in a religion. Maybe it's teaching Sunday school. Maybe it's doing what I do for a living, where I am guiding people to their healing, right? So this is definitely you. And you could be taking a step back saying, hmm, let me see how I'm going to do this. Yep. Now I want a little more information. We are looking at the zodiac signs of Taurus, Pisces, Capricorn, and Scorpio. And we have 
the, I was going to say the ace of truth. <laughs> we have the ace of truth here. We have the, the ace of swords. So clear communication is coming in. And when I'm saying that, I'm talking major clear. This is about the truth coming out. This is about somebody giving you an offer in work. That contract that needs to be signed. Now make sure when this communication comes in that you are paying attention to all the T's being crossed and all the I's being dotted. Make sure that it works for you when it's about a relationship. For some of you, this is a family relationship where there may have been some emotional manipulation uh, going on, some kind of, it's not necessarily in a bad way. What I'm being shown is there's a group of you where you have a family member, it could be a friend, but they're very, very close to you, where they've been working on something and they've been keeping it close to their chest. They haven't been sharing it with you. And in the month of February, it's going to come out. Now, this is about maybe for some of you, not a lot of you, you have a family friend member that actually wants to create a business with you. And they're going to share that around the third week of February, third to fourth week of February. You're going to hear about it. And it is going to make you want to take a step back and analyze this. And make sure that you are basing things on your belief system, not society. This is about socialized belief system as well. Following suit with what other people believe and think. You guys all know, I don't pay attention to what other people think and believe because everybody has the right to believe what they want. I follow my guides and I pay attention to everything around me in the spiritual realm and that's how I relate everything to you. So this is being very strong in your own conviction. This opportunity coming, whether it be in love or career, is all about you taking a step back. They're saying yes, analyze it and make sure it resonates with you. This person coming back from the past, and there is a person coming back from the past. They are coming in to tell you the truth, but it's important, again, pay attention to how you feel within, all right? Now, for another group of you, you may be getting ready to look at uh, severing ties with a partner. Again, that's kind of the same message in Aquarius. So I have a feeling you may have a sun, moon, or rising sign in that same element, or you're definitely dealing with that sign. But this is about really taking a step back and analyzing this situation. Can you create a new love in your existing partnership? Many of you have a definite opportunity. Look at these cards. This is all beautiful energy. Beautiful, creating the partnership. You've got the emotional cleansing, releasing the old baggage and opening you up. And the eclipse is going to help you with this. Being able to speak the truth where you feel very strong and strong and confident in what you are talking about. What your feelings are really expressing the truth. In a loving way though, in a very loving way. There is no harshness in this. There's no hastiness, there's no rudeness. So very nice, very nice. I like both, uh, both of these messages, uh, all of these messages. And let me see if there's anything else they wanna add to this. Some of you, yeah, you're definitely thinking about going back to school and what I'm being shown is um, a family member, you may need to ask for help financially to pay for it. And I do see them doing it. They may be wanting to know more information about what you're going to study, when you're going to pay it back, things like that. Just be honest with them. Speak the truth because when you stand up in who you are, they're going to come through. They're going to help you with this money. Okay. Yep. And then the last message is the strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah. Strength and courage. Strength and courage to make decisions that are right for you. Knowing who and what circumstances and situations and people in your life 
should remain and who needs to go. So you're gonna have the strength and courage to make these choices after you take a step back and making the choices based on your truth, who you are, what you want, what feels right with you. So this is you having all the courage to make these changes in your life, taking action and moving forward. Very good energy. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's go ahead and take a look at your career finance card. To those of you who have subscribed to my channel, you know I love doing this for you. And it's so good to see you again. For those of you who are new, if um, you like me, click subscribe, like, and share. I love your comments and I do read your comments on a regular basis. My hands are super cold. It's 13 degrees here, so it's a little cold. And I couldn't figure out why it was so cold in my house. My heater's on. The boys left the garage door open about that wide. <clears throat> so all that cold air is coming in and I have a blanket on my lap. So let's see what your career finance card is for the month. So we have faith. Your belief or faith is the element which determines the action of your subconscious mind. What you believe you achieve. When we believe it's going to come to a good, positive result, it is. This is about faith in the unseen and believing in the unknown. And when you do, everything falls into place. It, it actually backs up what I just shared in this reading. So it's very, very lovely energy. So let's take a look at your romance angel card for the month. And for those of you, if you are interested, I have posted the February classes. You can take a look on the website, follow the instruction, ascendingsoulsjourney.com. It's in the about section. And if you look up on your right side of your screen, you'll see a little eye, a little icon. If you hover over that, that'll link you to my channel, uh, to my website. And personal readings will be open the first week of February. So if you click that subscribe button, I will make a comment in the comment section, not a video posting, and I will let you know when I am up and ready for um, readings in the first week of February. Okay, so let's see what your message is for the month. All kinds of new changes, that's for sure. So what we have for you is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So for those of you where you've been waiting for a life partner, they're en route to you. If you've been waiting to have that communication with a soulmate so that you can get to know, have they grown? Are they going to hurt me? Which could be why some of you are holding back, yeah? Are they gonna hurt me like they did before? Truth and communication is coming. They are gonna reveal how they feel, their point of view of what took place. And for some of you, this is a brand new person coming into your life where you're really gonna to get to know them, either which way, new or old, it doesn't matter. It's all about getting to know that inner person that you're dealing with and do they resonate with you are you on the same page? Can you make this beautiful relationship work? So I do wish you all to have a wonderful month to those of you. Happy birthday. It's coming. I know you're not there yet, but it's coming. And I wish you to have a wonderful month. Much love.